wildfire broke out in the highly reactive Bill Blow Zone near the crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant over the weekend, reviving concerns over potential airborne radioactive particles being liberated throughout the airstreams. Japanese newspaper the Manachi reports that lightning was likely to blame for sparking the fire on Saturday on Mount Juman in Miami, which lies in the Fukushima prefecture. As one of the areas evacuated following the meltdowns, the area continues to be bare to entry as it is designated a difficult to return zone due to continuality of high radiation levels. Local officials were forced to call on the Japanese military, the ground self defense force, to help battle the blaze which continues to burn. At least 10 hectares of forest have burned so far. A total of eight helicopters from Fukushima Miyagi and Guma prefectures, as well as the SDF discharged water on the site to combat the fire. The Manachi reports as the fire continues to spread, however, helicopters from the GSDF Fukushima Prefecture and other parties on May 1st resumed fire extinguishing operations from around 5 a.m. An official with the Ministry of the Environment said Monday that there has been no major changes to radiation levels in the region. No major. Some, you know, elevated levels, you know, according to the newspaper, but added that they will continue to closely watch changes in radiation doses in the surrounding areas. And Tom Beneslavsky a member of the Greenpeace Russia's firefighting group who have been deployed to fight blazes in nuclear Chernobyl online the specific dangers of wildfires in contaminated areas. During the fire, radionuclides like cesium-137, strontium-90, and plutonium rise into the air and travel with the wind. Benislavsky wrote, This is a health concern because when these unstable atoms are inhaled, people become internally exposed to radiation. Contaminated forests, such as those fallout sites like Fukushima and Chernobyl, are ticking time bombs. Scientists and former regional government officials, Lumeli, Public for Safety, told Benislavsky, Woods and Pete accumulate radiation. She explained, and every moment, every grass burning, every drop cigarette or campfire can spark a new disaster. Reliberate the radioactive particles that will continue to be dangerous for thousands of years.